What's going on, DSG? Huh, it's your butt, Donna Bradley, back at y'all with another video, and today, finally again, it's back, the boys. I didn't even know this shit was coming out. I saw on Twitter somebody posted something saying they was watching, I said, y'all watching what? Say, huh? Boy, I need to peep. I think everybody need to hop on Netflix joint and just be dropping whole seasons and shit, bro. Just let us sit down and watch that shit for real. Let's get into it, let's get into it. I'm bad with names. So, I'm sorry if I can't remember somebody's name. Brought all the characters back. Everybody's still dealing with their mental emotional trauma. Remember what happened in the last one? Homelander. What? 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 I, what? Homelander blasted man's head off for throwing a smoothie or some shit at his son. Everybody was like, yay! Uh, man was on trial for that. I don't even understand how they put man's on trial for that. How they got him into a courtroom. This man is really... Still trying to play for the crowd, and I'm just waiting for dude to snap and just murder everybody. I know, like, like the soups are worried about the nukes, but honestly, like, where are they going to nuke? They would have to evacuate an area, like, <laughs> and you could just go to where the people at. During the course of editing, I realized that I ain't say nothing about this little developmentally unhinged little girl right here. I don't, I, this, the bitch daughter, I didn't even, so, so she, like, was she born like that too? Like, Homelander, son? Because I don't know what this half a predator, half a hentai shit is right here. Anyway, she immediately get to work. Look at that nigga. neck, head, eyes, all of that. That motherfucker over there emptying clips to no avail because he's also dinner. Frenchy stunned. He don't know what the hell going on. He want to shoot the bitch, but he done already seen what that does. And he look at dude face over there on the corner. So he's just trying to... I'd have hopped out that window right behind me. Just more on that later. But I'd have just... You know what I'm saying? And he's still shot. But what are you going to do right there? But the Kimiko, linebacker, you know what I'm saying? But it didn't really go her way. And look at the arm shit right here. She's she's literally eviscerating Kimiko's whole ass arm with the, the hentai mouth thing going on there. Got kicked like a field goal across the room. Had to go. But they need to get the f*** up out of there. So they try and look at that. Ew. So anyway, they trying to get out the damn building. Starlight and the homie over there trying to tell them where to go from. And ew. They about to jump out this motherfucking window, right? Bow. Look at that. Epic. Everything looks nice. Pristine. Slow motion type shit. Starlight's gonna rise up. Yeah, there it is. And she gonna attempt to catch. Cause it's a very, very big attempt. And this shit had me thinking of Deadpool. Bro, look at that. What is it? What are we doing? What are we doing? What is this? That shit is hilarious. <laughs> Frenchy linebacker tackles this shit out of Starlight. And Kimiko's just splat all over the floor. You know what I'm saying? Like her her and Deadpool can have some conversations. Butcher and his crew, well Butcher's not this, the, the leader anymore because you know he took the super drugs, now he's fucked up and he got black goo coming out of his ear. So his homie, whose name I can't remember, uh, is in charge of the crew, the, the buff black dude, you know what I'm saying? And so they trying to find ways to, and let, let, land, I almost said in Lancaster, why is this motherfucker's name just escaping me? They trying to end Homelander, but also they trying to end this bitch running for president. She can head pop people, or like she can just like look at somebody and just whatever part of them she looking at just explodes i don't understand her power i ain't never seen no shit like that you know what i'm saying even roy mustang had to snap at a motherfucker before they burst into flames and these motherfuckers don't even burst into flames they just explode it's spontaneous human combustion but we ain't watching fire for it her and huey are going back and forth right they and huey in the huey in the surveillance truck you feel me doing all the surveillance shit and she pop in like oh baby what's good how you doing let me all over you real quick and he was like i don't want that thirsty bitch drink that so he hit her with i don't know what the hell it was acid something burned her suit did nothing to her they still trying to find out ways to kill this bitch what gets me is how nonchalant she acts after homie just attempted murder on her obviously he panicking because he knows she explode people but she just start acting casual about the shit but the cold thing was butcher came and dropped a one-liner shot in the head but she was still fine treated like it was nothing and went on about her business i could be the most invincible and vulnerable person on planet earth you shoot me in my head nigga i'ma still body bag you you get negative points for the attempt bitch yo i almost forgot to talk about this but yeah you see these people over here just trying to ice skate for christ <laughs> they in for it um we got huey and mother's milk out here trying to do reconnaissance on the newman presidential elect lady uh homelander pops up at some point but i'm just more so focused on the people that they get that spin they're just having such a good time at practice and singing and then you got newman and her tentacle face daughter there trying to take pictures get all buddy buddy you know what i'm saying for president pics and shit like that um and homelander pop up at some point and huey finds himself inside of a vent the thing about that is homelander didn't take too kindly to huey being in the vent uh <laughs> listening to their conversation so that man go buck wild with eye laser beams just shooting at the vent trying to get mans while huey just booty butt scrambling trying not to die you know what i mean and you don't want to die period but you sure as hell don't want to die in a cramped space let alone a vent but homelander on the hunt see they just down there trying to get their jig on look at the skating and huey just 
running for his crawling for his life and he don't go man don't give a fuck bro anything could have failed you don't even mean it's not even about what failed you know what i mean but uh yeah he's still trying to ice huey and mother's milk was gonna help him right after huey hop out this vent and start trying to run what was that? I think Mother's Milk hops on the lights. Yeah, Mother's Milk hop on the lights. Flash that shit in Homelander's eye as Homelander's trying to eye beam Huey. And oh my God, does all hell break loose in this one singular moment right here? Gone with it. Done. What do you do with that? Homelander don't give a fuck because he's still trying to get at Huey. This part, yup, gone. Fingers, none of that. There's a whole bunch of chaos just going on on the floor. Look, that guy got stepped on with, with Warlord blade shits his throat is slit with roller blade shit like I said, there's a whole lot happening in this particular area that i don't even think homelander realized moving forward kimiko and her friend frenchy yeah that man is going on one hell of a trip because he's with another nigga and apparently he killed this nigga whole family I me mean, that real quick <laughs> How you even let shit get that far for real? Ice somebody whole family. So you start dating them. That what? What? Bruh, you talk about a situation ship. I don't give a f what you going through. You ain't going through that. And if you are going through that, you need to call the local authorities. He is tripping out on all kinds of drugs, alcohol, all kinds of crap, losing his mind. Chemical was having like issues because uh, you know she was a victim of uh, trafficking and things like that and she it was it was going through it mentally but she had got a bead on where some of the traffickers was at so she got french and was like come on let's go do this they went right and frenchy high out his mind shit pop off kimiko got this nigga from the back pause immediately commences to murder while this man frenchy high as hell seeing ducks fly out dude neck frenchy gone look at that boy eyes gone she like yo nigga locked in you know what i'm saying but he he don't know what he doing so she's still fighting because you know what i'm saying taking bullets while he's swimming through air and she's stomping nigga head into a crate and these motherfuckers come out of nowhere just lighting her up but you know she she got that she locked in look at that Bow! It's bubbles everywhere. Just so much bubbles. This <laughs> boy Frenchie is gone. And they still lighting her up, but she don't give up. She don't over there to handle business. But Frenchie got a whole hallucinogenic dream that he gotta go take care of. Having a whole like psychedelic mental breakdown, going through some real self-revelation moments. You know what I'm saying? He's having an inner walk with himself while Kimiko's in the middle of a firefight with no gun. And then at the end of the fight, when Kimiko done laying waste to everybody in there, and also within seeing somebody that I guess she knows. Can we go like, oh shit, hey, I know you. You know what I'm saying? I thought we were about to have an I know you moment. But no, we thought we was about to have a connection moment. There was no connecting. The only thing she tried to connect was damage. And that's when Frenchie come up with the gun like, hey, like nigga, what the fuck? What you mean, hey? Nigga, we was just sitting in the back talking to hallucinatory ghosts. Kimiko told homie to stop. Uh, and then the, the, the girl with the scar on her face got away. And Kimiko looked at Mans and asked the only valid question. The f*** was you at? Bruh, are you dead ass? <laughs> I'd have had to slap the shit out of him, bruh. Let's skip over to Homelander. Homelander trying to play daddy to his son. Telling him, basically, hey, yo, you know, humans, people, these little things down here, they're nothing to us. They're just toys for our amusement. They don't mean shit. They're fragile. They break. They're toys. And, and we had Toys R Us, boy, have fun. But obviously his son had a good mom and all this other stuff. So he's dealing with some emotional turmoils wherein, cause he didn't even really know, I feel, know what his dad was about or that he had the psychological, emotional milk issues that he has. They set Kid up for his first like save, some kind of staged crime so that the hero can come swoop in and save the day, that part. And they was trying to get him to like do the stunt or whatever, whatever, right? Which involved him pushing somebody, mm -hmm, right? Push, right? Just a little, <laughs> anything but. Homelander is now actually getting jealous of his own son. If you get jealous of your own child success, you are an entirely different kind of piece of shit. Homelander pops up in the video. He wasn't supposed to be there. It was supposed to be his son's time to shine, but he popped up to say something because he wanted, you know, he's Homelander. He got to be in front of the camera. He got to have the attention, all that other good shit. Little boy panic a little bit, you know what I'm saying? He don't really, he didn't really understand why Homelander Homelander was there and he was also um feeling a little weird because it wasn't an action like it wasn't real and homelander's egging him to push the dude so he pushes man y'all seen one punch man right <laughs> yeah it was like that on the side of a building because little boy pushed pushed homie splatter across across the side of a, a side of the building y'all remember deadpool the first one the highway scene where the where the car was rolling and homie hit the sign it was a lot of that because that 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 man became a F -f -f finally pushed paste homelander feeling a type of way right everybody's listening to him which is what he wanted he wanted to be at the top he wanted all this extra shit right now all of a sudden he don't like that people don't challenge him on shit when correct me if i'm wrong the people that usually challenge him end up dead 
So you seem to be working opposite of yourself here. It seems like you're creating your own problems. He feeling the type of way, so he turn around in his seat. While they having a meeting, he like, hey, yo, deep. You see A train over there? I'ma need you to suck his dick. Now deep looking at him, not sure what to make of his newest request and then my man gets up that's the part right and you can see the disgust in homelander's face like you just gonna get up and do it and i'm in my head like bro like <laughs> other than accept certain death what did you accept expect deep to do nothing about what has been going on with this character deep right had it ever suggested at any point in time that he would buck up the homelander like <laughs> since the beginning of this whole shit not just this season, the beginning of the boys. <laughs> what? Why? I don't understand. Like, I feel like he would have got more pushback if he had tried to tell A Train to do it to, to Deep. Deep gets up, <laughs> walks on over to A Train with <laughs> Homelander just egging him on. Yeah, go ahead, right there. Looks at A Train, stand up. I ain't gay, because I ain't sucking nobody, Dick. I just gotta stand up. He doing that to me, so I ain't. Y'all can't play me. I ain't the one with it in my mouth. I just gotta stand here deep got on his knees and it's like yo your name is about to get a whole new meaning homeland is like stop what you're doing y'all pathetic look at you about to go down there just because i said so i'm like bro i'm sorry everything up to now has all been because you said so whenever somebody did something you ain't say or against what you said it's raps for them what you expect which is why man's went uh and found sister sage had the conversation with her with her telling him the shit that he i guess but nobody else would say basically hired her to tell him the things that nobody else would say without fear of imminent death bro let me tell you something this shit was crazy right homelander in the room with the new uh black noir a train the deep the the the, the aquamanic and he got three super fans they got to meet homelander these boys were so happy they were so happy like oh my god you're 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 so dope i just i i i, I didn't believe i would ever get this chance here let me get, get on my knees and <laughs> Homelander's like, yeah, yeah, y'all great, y'all cool, y'all cool. Hey, check this out. I got these bats, right? This man said, bash these niggas' skulls in. Wait, whoa, whoa. Well, first of all, first of all, why do you need to, what, what, huh? Questions? I, I got questions. You want me to do what now? It takes a second for the fans. It takes a second for them to even realize what's going on, let alone take the shit serious. They're like, they're like, hey, ain't no way. Ain't no way this man who I saw eye laser beam blow a nigga head off in broad daylight in front of a million people, he about to have me murdered. Buy another suit with a bat. You can't even give me the dignity of killing me with superpowers. You're going to use a bat. And boy, did they use them bats. Boy, they beat them motherfuckers to a bloody pulp. They used the, the bodies of those guys as props to frame some starlight people. The A-Train came to the rescue of the people that, I guess, that, that got in trouble for the murders and gave uh, evidence that uh, basically showed that they weren't the ones who killed him. And on the Homelander side, now they're looking for the evidence. The Seven had a meeting and uh, Sister Sage was like, yo... Uh, the leak came from your department, da, 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 looking at the deep. And, you know, deep, deep, stay in deep space, bro. Like, that boy don't know what the fuck is going on. That dude is two twinkle toes from stupid. Yeah, they took that, that away from him. Uh, and they questioned one of the people in his department. She says some wrong shit. One of the Starlight people or Starlight had called her. This girl writes sweating bullets. Don't know what to think. She just, she know what the hell be going on over there. They be killing people. So you might be a little reluctant to say some words. If you know that when niggas say words, niggas die. I don't want to die, so I ain't going to say shit. Sister Sage really trying to just calm her down. Hey, if you tell us the truth and all this other shit, it'll be fine. Da -da -da -da. And she's like, all right, cool. So the Starlight people had called me and asked, zap the bitch. <laughs> Didn't matter. Homeland ain't give two fucks. That, that bitch said three words out her mouth, and that was it. The sister says, literally, look at Homeland like, you don't think the literal next word out that bitch mouth might have been useful. And that nigga Homelander looked at her and said, What can I say? I guess I am petty bitch. Walked out the room. I said, Okay, see? That that's that's the epitome of what you call a stressful working environment. You couldn't, you can't be, you can't just be blasting holes through people head i really uh want bush to be able to rescue the kid because you can't just be blasting holes through people head butcher had hit up kid over a video game that was playing a video game which i gotta say i gotta get my man points for that that was smart that was smart locked in on a video game so that he could voice chat with, 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 with homie you know what i'm saying and we can't just glide over this mortal combat shit right here like look at what th that is aggressive anal insertion that's that's unwanted and then the socket exertion. There's there's a lot going on here. So the boy goes over to butcher and they playing um 
But that foosball, which had gotten these cookies that was made by the people at this other outfit, you know what I'm saying, other government outfit, I assume. And they were supposed to give the boy the cookies, pass him out, take him. But he was like, you know what? Nah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do that. The kid gets back home. Homelander, like, freaking out. At one point, the kid was crying because he was mad that he killed the dude in the fake save thing when he got when he pushed him into the wall and turned him into toothpaste. And Homelander couldn't even understand why homie was mad about that. He took the kid's shake away. The kid was getting closer to Butcher and things like that, and Homelander ain't like that shit. So he kind of wigged out through something. Kid ran away. Homelander sat down, having another mental emotional breakdown. Went to the mirror that he broke because he was doing that Green Goblin shit again. And the mirror said, we need to get back to brass tacks, bruh. When you was trapped inside whatever the hell. But like, I don't know if that means that he's going to trap his son inside the same room that he was in or try to do shit the same way that was done to him back then so that his son can grow up to be a little more like him. That's obviously not how that's going to work, but you know how Homelander's mind is. It's fucked. Basically, he's like mentally trying to break hold of his need for admiration. The, the reflection basically saying like it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Basically trying to turn him into that dark hole. And one thing, Homelander's already a psychopathic, sociopathic, like, crazy person the only thing that keeps him on the level like at all is the fact that he wants to be loved by at least a majority of motherfuckers like if you take that away and really make him just not give up bro that's that's raps lots of stuff going on even within the first three episodes we're gonna keep going on and uh see how the season progresses man but i'm liking what what we got going on and it's really awesome that we finally got it back yeah but that's the take man be sure to like be sure to subscribe follow me on all that there's social media i catch y'all on the next one fam. peace